Hi guys, welcome back to The Pulse. This is a very exciting episode. As you know, I've been talking about NMN for about 18 months, and over that time, it's become more and more clear of the medical value of NED boosting, NMN in my case particularly. And I spoke to an educator in the medical field for 35 years, Dr. Shi, a couple weeks ago, and we talked about curing disease with NMN and how powerful a tool it can be. And since that time, a cardiologist that he worked works with in Boston, Dr. Richard Delaney, gave a webinar to over 300 participants about how he's been treating heart patients with NMN. And then a study came out, a paper in the science journal Nature, that shows NAD levels, low NAD levels particularly, can cause heart disease, and you can prevent heart disease by boosting NAD levels. So I wanted to speak to Dr. Shi again and also Dr. Delaney about the study and help us decipher the study a bit, and this is what he had to say. If you and Dr. Shi could just decipher what the impact of that paper is, because to me it seems pretty huge. The key point I got that from that is the early nature of the benefit of NAD and the pathophysiology of heart failure. So they pointed out that as the metabolic pathways that Dr. Shea knows better than me become dysfunctional, that allows the, the, the occurrence of heart failure. If you activate NAD, it mitigates that downward decline toward heart failure, be it, first from my standpoint, is it heart failure with preserved ejection fraction or reduced ejection fraction? There's different types now. Mm. You know, I've been a cardiologist for 42 years and it's only been the last five or six that we realized that a lot of people have heart failure with a normal ejection fraction, but a very stiff ventricle. Mm. And we don't know how to treat that. The, the reduced ejection fraction, we unload the ventricle, we diurese the patient, we try to you know, make their, their the, pre the pressure load low, but we don't have, know how to treat with the preserved ejection fraction. And it's difficult to diagnose. The echocardiography behind it is you have to be, it's academic center, not the local hospital. The thought process that this is so preventative that you can give it to someone <laughs> to prevent disease. And so any physician then who has a clinical suspicion of a person developing heart disease if they then check the intracellular level of NAD and it's low, then you should take it. So there are two parts essentially to this topic, the prevention of heart disease, but also, as I said, Dr. Delaney treats heart disease. So if you can prevent it, you obviously don't have to treat it. So he's looking for those low NAD levels first. Now, what happens in the case when heart disease is present? Now, Dr. Delaney talks about how he's had success treating patients with heart disease using NMN to raise NAD levels. Treating heart disease with NAD. And what has, how have you gone about it? And what have been the results that you've been getting? In general terms, but if you want to name any specific cases, by all means. So I'm still trying to assess it, but uh, when I have patients with chronic heart failure and they're traditionally treated and they still have chronic heart failure, I check their NAD levels. If they're low, I start them on therapy and I monitor them carefully. I have seen in a small number of people clear clinical improvement and some people maybe some improvement. It's difficult to quantitate. Uh, we had a dramatic patient that I presented in my paper, the uh, video the other day, who <laughs> markedly improved after one dose, mm -hmm. one dose. And so uh, I found that people who had the lowest level of NAD respond quicker, obviously because the body needs it really bad. So to me, as a, as a practicing physician and cardiologist, I would try to stratify my patients. I would try to find out their baseline NAD level. I would be careful and I would monitor them carefully. And, it, and I would try to do testing like uh, echocardiography, non-invasive testing to, eff to show efficacy. Uh, that needs to be done. Uh, and I'm waiting for it to be done in my little own fish pond. I, that's what I try to do. 
but it is, um, as I listened to you too before we started, is it is an amazing molecule. That article that we were talked about has showed that it starts benefiting the person early, early in the development of heart failure. I mean, that's amazing. Talk about true prevention. So it was very interesting when he talked about faster results when the levels are low. And this correlates to what a lot of people experience out there. Some people get quick results from taking NMN. Some people it takes longer. It really depends on where your level's at. And the higher your NED levels may be, the longer it might take to experience the benefits of NMN. So you may have to stick with it a little bit longer. But this helps uh, shed some light on a topic that we've covered here quite a bit. Now, Dr. Delaney is not only a cardiologist. He's also board certified in other other areas and he talks about using NMN to boost NAD levels to treat other conditions as well. You know, I'm not just a cardiologist. I'm board certified in critical care, geriatrics, functional medicine. I, I started one of my patients on dialysis uh, on this. So this, it's oh, why I have patients. I have one patient who got his energy back and then his muscles started getting stronger again. I kind of view this in a simple way that the body finally becomes depleted, becomes depleted in NAD. And once you give it back to them, they'd say, okay, it, it makes the person get the energy back. But then it looks around to see what's the next, what's the organ that needs it the most. If it's the person has poor muscles, that goes there. If it has poor kidneys, it works there. If it has the heart, it goes there. It physiologically handles the system that needs it the most. Fascinating. So, I think I think when we do a study, we should assess not just their heart, but their kidneys, their muscles, their liver function, the propensity for cancer, and the list goes on. And in your case now, maybe thyroid, and and hearing, right? That's and vision. All of us lower our levels of NAD as we get older, no matter what happens. Some do it later than others, and and now we've found out that this one molecule that we can now boost will prolong our life and increase the, the health span of our life so that we can become we can live longer and be healthier. Now there was one caveat to the treatment that I want to share with you that I'm going to devote an entire episode to coming up which is any link between cancer both on the prevention side and the risks if you already have developed cancer. Both doctors pointed out that if a patient has a cancer, has current spread cancer, that they would not in those cases uh, prescribe NMN uh, because they don't know exactly what's going to happen with that individual. However, if you don't have cancer, if you're trying to prevent cancer, NMN can be a powerful tool in many respects in that it can provide DNA repair, it can reduce inflammation, oxidative stress, and it can boost the immune system to constantly look for things like cancer cells and to stamp those out early. So there are a lot of advantages on the prevention side of cancer, but in the case of active cancer, then they would not prescribe NMN in those cases. Now the breadth of impact of NMN and NED boosting is so wide that it really hammers home the point, and both of these doctors agreed, it should not be taken off the market as a supplement, even if it's pursued as a prescription drug, because it needs to be available to more people. Pretty much everybody should test their NED levels that, that are over the age of 30, and this needs to be available for people to do that. We need to get more tests out there. Obviously, we want to reduce the costs of those tests, but if you're trying to prevent disease, it's worth at least taking one test to see what your micromolar level is, and that's the molecular weight of that NED in your system. So we still got this hurdle. We've got a challenge. We have to convince the FDA, we have to convince politicians not to take NMN off the market. Again, both of these doctors agree. And I asked Delaney, how can we go about that? What did he suggest? It's probably one of the most essential things we need to do to a patient. We need to fix their NAD so that, that this, multi, this amazing molecule that works in so many ways can help so many organs. And so... It's it's it'd be the first one of the first things we do over the age when you're over the age of thirty is to check your level and get boosted. 
And I think that's going to come to that. I really believe that's going to come to that. Uh, I, and, and once, once physicians understand it and, you know, five senators and five representatives understand it and see their loved ones get better, they'll be talking to the FDA that we won't have to talk to the FDA. Right. And I don't mean to be, you know, I just, I grew up in Washington, D.C., so I kind of know things about Washington, D.C. And, and politics. And I just know that everybody, the truth always comes out. And the three of us today know the truth. I know it personally, I'm seeing my patients. And so the truth is going to come out. We need to um, gently and firmly tell everybody about it. And, um, and hopefully they don't take it off the market or something stupid like that. But I, I believe, like you mentioned NAC, I think the same thing's going to happen, I hope. But th that's the cause that everybody yelled and screamed at them about the NAC, so they backed away. We need people talking about the essential nature of NAD and its access to people without being la labeled as a drug. So hopefully FDA and some congressmen will heed the words of this cardiologist and a growing list of doctors who support NMN as a supplement to be a widely available to more people. Now testing obviously is something that is key to this and key to how the doctors can use NMN to treat NAD levels. If you don't have a test, you don't know what their levels are. So it's important to test. And Dr. Delaney and Dr. Shi offer some insights into the testing of NAD levels. I want you to think about how exciting it is for me to see a patient with a low level and I always say in the red and I, and I know I said, what to wow. do. You know, <laughs> I know what's going to happen <laughs> three weeks late, four weeks later, he's going to, or she's going to be better. I mean, yeah. and then I, then I, then I repeat it. I repeat the level. Yeah. Myself, just, just for your reviewers. So on our NAD report, we put uh, we put the NAD levels into five categories and we kind of coded the five categories. The levels below 20 micromole is red, between 20 and 30 is orange, and between 30 and 40 is yellow, and between 40 and 100 is the green zone, and above 100 we put in the blue zone. So the color code matches the uh, uh, the uh, emergency uh, colors, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's for people to remember easily. So he loves to see someone in the red zone before he puts his patients on, on the NAD, uh, the vitality boost that we have. And if we can get someone from the green or from the red or yellow zone, to the green zone, ideally in the 50s and the 60s, he knows, and I know too, that the patients are going to have clinical improvement. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, it works on almost every, every single person. I have to say it's personally very rewarding to find medical professionals out there using a substance that I stumbled upon after listening to different videos, different experts talk about NMN, and the scenario that I'd hoped for, really the best case scenario, is playing out. So we all need to be vocal and fight to keep NMN available for more of us. I take the NMN from Do Not Age, which is in the description below, along with the discount code. You can also get the NAD test there, or you can go directly to Dr. Shiach Infinity Labs and get your test from him. I encourage you to do that. I definitely encourage you to continue taking NMN, and I encourage you to subscribe and keep watching The Pulse. See you guys soon.